What's up? It's me, Mr. Radley, and today we're learning about friction. What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Radley, and today we're learning about a force called friction. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. Friction is a force that opposes movement. It's the whole reason that a ball rolling down a hill will eventually come to a stop. Friction occurs when two surfaces rub against each other, and when they do this they produce heat. If you don't believe me, try rubbing your hands together and you will feel the heat. Ouch! Whatever direction one surface is trying to move, friction will pull in the opposite direction. For example, when I'm rock climbing, the surfaces of my hands are pulling downwards thanks to gravity. But friction will be pulling upwards and preventing me from falling to my death. Wow, thanks a lot, friction. A lot of the time, more friction is useful because it stops things from slipping, like when we are driving, rock climbing, or even mountain biking. And one person who knows all about this is my friend, Keelan Grant. Hi guys, it's Keelan Grant here. I'm a professional mountain biker and today we're gonna to talk about friction. So first on, my bike here, we've got my tires. The first contact point with the ground this allows me to slow down better and also cut into the ground so I can maneuver sharp turns better. Also on my bike, I've got some brakes. These are a pad and a disc that push together and when pulling these with force, this helps me to slow down as well. As you can see, on these pedals, sharp pins that allow these to stick into my shoe. This also creates friction to help my feet stay on the pedal. So these are all the points of friction on my mountain bike. Normally in the dry, there is more friction created. The bike is easier to turn and slow down. Conditions are wet, being even icy. Less friction means the bike is harder to slow down and harder to maneuver. All right, Mr. Bradley, back to you. In a world without friction, we would have no control of where we were going and we would not be able to stop just like in space. In outer space, things never stop moving, and that's entirely because there is no friction. Even right now, the planet that we're on is moving through space. Things that have rough surfaces have actually got more friction and will stop moving things more dramatically, while things that are a little bit smoother have less friction and will not stop things from moving as quickly. If a surface is covered in water, it will actually reduce the friction greatly. The reason for this is the water will fill in all of those bumps and lumps and can move freely across the surface, meaning it will have a lot less friction. No friction can be a problem, but sometimes less friction is actually a good thing. Low friction allows us to do a lot of cool fun things like water slides, ice skating and snowboarding. and today we're learning about friction. Sometimes less friction is a good thing, like when I'm snowboarding down a snowy mountain. The snow on the surface of my slippery snowboard up a very low friction, 
meaning I'm able to slide on the snow but have just the right amount of friction to control myself. If I hit some ice, the friction suddenly decreases dramatically. It's hard for me to get any grip and I might slip and fall on my bottom. But if a surface is perfectly smooth, why does it still have some friction? Why doesn't it just keep moving forever? Well, the reason for that is even though it may look super smooth to our human eyes, if we look under a microscope, we can see that it still is actually covered in tiny little bumps and lumps and cracks. No matter how smooth two surfaces may seem, they are still covered in tiny little atoms and particles that will crash and hit into each other as they are rubbed together, causing friction and eventually, if left alone, the object to stop moving. <clears throat> and so we've come to the end of our video about friction. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button to be notified each time I post a brand new video. If you enjoyed this video, then check out some of the other videos on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.